Hi guys, welcome back to It's Natasha Friendly. Today, I'm so hungry, I get to eat my favorite snack ever. I love pretzels. So, I'm super excited to try some of these flavors. Um, this is a company called Elephant. Um, you guys will have to look it up because I found this at um, one of our grocery stores in town called Independent. Um, they have like a chain of grocery stores here in Canada. Uh, I just happen to find these and I don't all find all the flavors at the same time either. Um, so you'll probably have to look these up, but um, they're made in the EU is what the label says. Um, I've had some of them. They are amazing. Um, I highly recommend them before I'm even going to taste them with you guys. I just, anything pretzel, like it's really hard to go wrong. So we're going to start with this one. Um, cute packaging. This is supposed to be... Uh, it says squeezed pretzels with a pizza taste. So they look like, like they're gonna be flat, like pizza, or not pizza, pretzel like crisps or some sort of cracker. Um, the ingredients, um, fairly long. You know, I've seen longer, but um, the good thing about this is all the priority allergens are underlined. So if you guys have allergies out there, um, the, they are actually underlined. The only allergens in this are wheat and soy and sesame. Um, they actually, this is sesame, they do have another flavor, which is sesame. Um, I've seen it, like, I don't, I didn't see it last time I was there. I think I, just, I saw it a while ago, but um, yeah, they do have that flavor as well. All right, so cut open. Ooh, okay, so they definitely smell like pizza -y. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Um, they look super coated. Look at that. They're like coated in seasoning and like this is what you want. If somebody is seasoning a chip or a cracker or a pretzel, you want it coated. I don't want like a little sprinkle where I can hardly taste anything on there. I want it coated and like sticking to my fingers. So immediately you can already see the basil. Um, let me just actually check. Parsley, basil, and oregano. Okay, so classic pizza flavors and you see little bits of like red too I don't know if you guys can catch that on there but I'm trying to see oh paprika okay so it's probably paprika there's a bit of rosemary extract in here chili flavor lots of basil flavor um but yeah so let's give this a taste is it weird if I lift the seasoning first bad so let me okay let me chew mm. oh I'm also so hungry so I mean maybe this is why they taste even better but oh these are actually really good okay so they're super coated in seasoning which is amazing they taste awesome as much as it says like basil everywhere on this it is a it is it is very basil-y, like it does really taste like a tomato sauce, but like, I think the balance of the tomato and some of the other herbs in there, it's not bad. And I know most people like basil, it's just me, that's weird and I don't know, I don't like basil, but I actually don't mind these. These are pretty good. Um, I think I'm still gonna like the other two flavors better, but like, mmm, these are good. Mmm. And they're salty and Okay, no, I shouldn't eat that one because I'm going to be eating all the other ones too. And they taste like a pretzel cracker. So, like, you get that, like, satisfying, like, crisp cracker. And, like, it's carby and it's pretzely. Oh, I love these already. I just need a bit of a sip. Okay, so, like I said, seasoning sticks to your fingers. Uh, so, I'm going to be licking my fingers. But these are awesome. I love this brand. You're a weird brand, but you make some really good questions. All right, so that's the pizza one. All right, I'm gonna try the sea salt one next, only because like the honey mustard one, like I have high expectations for that one. And like, I always like sea salt. So this is kind of like probably gonna be the one that's, you know, like if, if you screw up a sea salt pretzel, like what are you doing really, you know? So let's try this one. So this is just plain sea salt. Yeah, they look exactly like this. You can see the chunks of sea salt on it. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. This is like, this actually tastes kind of like the Ritz one. This is the classic pretzel taste of a cracker that I want. It's super salty. It has that crisp wheat flavor. Mmm. Okay, I could, this with hummus would be amazing. Mmm. Like a garlicky hummus or some sort of dip. Okay, I think these are better than like actual pretzels. Mmm. I kind of just want to keep eating. I could just sit here in silence and eat these. Okay, I won't do that. But, okay. These ones, I don't know. Maybe I just, I'm weird and I like the plain flavors. I don't know. There's something about a sea salt though that like can sometimes just be better than any flavor. So for me, that's this. All right, let's try the final flavor of the elephant brand. So this is the honey mustard and onion, which I kind of like, usually you just get like honey mustard or like some sort of like onion on its own. You never really get honey mustard and onion together. Um, so I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of sweet, a little tangy, definitely really salty. You can already see in the picture, there's like green flecks, which chives, okay, that makes sense. Um, there's actual onion seasoning as well. Actual um, honey and mustard, that's like one of the main ingredients. So, you know, I'm not just getting like honey flavor and you know, stuff like that. There's actual honey in this. So let's try this one. I'm expecting these to be kind of a yellow hue. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the inside of the bag. Um, just like the pizza ones, these are super coated. Okay, let's try these. Actually, wait. I kind of want to lick. Ooh, that's good seasoning. Mmm. Okay, these are my favorite. Well, favorite of the two flavors, but like the plain sea salt, like you just can't go wrong with that. Holy, these are good. Mmm. This is a really good, it's an interesting flavor. I've never had a honey mustard and onion. You definitely get the onion. You get the honey and you get, you get all the flavors. Like it just tastes almost like a sweeter version of a honey mustard. And it's not like super oniony where you're gonna have like onion breath and like you can't go anywhere, but man, these are a good snack. Mmm. They're cute like little pretzels and like, I don't wanna sound, you know, it might sound a little weird, but like, they look like little elephant trunks. Like, I don't know, can I say that? I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird brand name, it's a whatever, but these are freaking amazing, holy. Okay, so, Mr. Elephant, please come to Canada, make bigger bags, and come out with new flavors too. I feel like just because of the name of your company, you have to do like a peanut butter one at some point. Like you have to. I don't know, dessert ones, try it. My favorite dessert is chocolate peanut butter and pretzels together. I don't care what they are, whether it's a cupcake. I don't know whether I'm dipping my pretzel in like chocolate icing and peanut butter. I don't care. That combination, I would recommend. Yeah, I'm gonna continue eating these because I haven't had lunch yet and I feel like I'm a snacker. I would way rather eat snacks than a meal, so this might just be my lunch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had this brand, if you have seen any other flavors I should try. I know there is a sesame seed one, um, but if there's any other crazy flavors or dessert flavors or any other pretzel brands that are dairy free, I would love to try. Like I said, pretzels are one of my favorite snacks ever. Um, don't forget to like, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, you will get alerts of when new videos are posted as well. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. See you guys next time. Mm. These are so good.